Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson before, and welcome to more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, and also welcome to the kickoff of season four. I mean, season five. God damn, I got so used to saying season four. So, anyways, yeah, our upgrades in the offseason, you guys missed out on them, is Eric Reed, our free safety, and our right guard, Kyle Long. Hopefully, these two guys can be a good improvement in somehow, some way on both sides. And also, I expect a lot from the running backs this year. I want them to run again, like season three, and I was committing like 90 plus CRs per game. I want them to run again. I just wish for them to run again, like be explosive like every single game. I expect a lot from Marshall Lynch and Doug Martin season. But uh, what happened in this gameplay was kind of the opposite. I was still running though, it was good runs. But the problem was my passing, you know, it was my decisions though. I don't blame it all on my characters that I have right now on my team. I blame it on my decision making. I was kind of a. I don't know. I don't think I was mentally prepared on this one. I really got to, you know, revise the strategies that I was using right now because it really got out of hand where I ended up going into quick offense and uh, I don't know why I did that. And also, before we get into more details, watch this part of the gameplay. He made my whole defense blitz in. My whole defense. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a glitch, man. Guys, rewind that little part where he scored a touchdown. And you should be able to see how my defense just blitzed. And that was out of a Snugs. Uh, he called in a Snugs uh, quarterback screen or whatever it's called. And um, he made everybody blitz in. It was kind of weird. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? It looked like a glitch to me. So anyways, back on my, uh, my offensive drive, I threw an interception. I messed up so badly. As I told you guys, I was messing up by myself. It wasn't on Derek Carr and the receivers. It was on my decision making. And uh, leads into this drive over here. Uh, Terrell Suggs and Halorinata doing a hell of a job. But another thing that happened throughout the whole game, guys, my linebackers, Halori I mean Halorinata, my linebackers, Terrell Suggs and uh, Luke Kikley were messing up. These two guys weren't just, they're, they're, they're never zone coverage. These guys were targeted so badly throughout the whole game that literally they couldn't just stop him on third down. He just couldn't. So uh, keep an eye on these two guys. They were getting burned throughout the whole game. I mean, I can't even replace him with anybody except for Terrell Suggs. I can replace him with, you know, Von Miller. But middle linebacker Luke Keekley, I can't replace him. Who's gonna? Who's better than Luke Keekley? Ray Lewis. That's it. And uh, also the middle linebackers from the Ravens saw uh, C.J. Mosley, who's 94 overall. Anyways, uh, on this offensive drive, I ended up scoring down the middle. And one of the best things that I found out about, you know, this guy is that we got to trick out that middle linebacker that he's using. He also has Luke Kickley, but he knows how to use him pretty good. As you can see, he's like trying to look for the slot, trying to look for the tight end. And the more he covers them, the, the better his defense is. Because my offense consists mostly of throwing to the slot, throwing to the tight end. And he got me real good, man, especially on this one. He was running cover two out of the 4-3 white nine. And what that does is not the same thing as the other, as the other cover twos. Uh, this cover two out of the 4-3 the white nine actually has the cornerbacks into blue zones, into deeps. And then they have the three middle linebackers. I mean, the three linebackers are standing in the 4-3 into yellow zones. And they have both safeties, the free safety and the strong safety, going into flats, which leaves the middle wide open. I should have sent a slant going down the middle, and he would have been tricked out. And I, and, and I would have just lobbed it to Cordell Patterson, and he would have caught it for a touchdown. Right now, it should have been 14-7, but I messed up badly, and I should have read it better, and I would have tricked them out better, and, you know, the score would have been different at this point, but I messed up. I think that that was the drive that decided everything, you know. And then I have another chance right here, 1 minute and 40 seconds to go. Triangle was kind of open right there, but instead I threw it to Marceau, another offensive uh, play right here. Derek Carr overthrows Brandon Marshall, a six foot four receiver. How the hell do you even overthrow that? And then I don't know, I understand what happened this play that I just bullet passed to this guy. I sucked it up. I, re I really did. I admit it. Like it was just my decision making that ruined this game. And you had a chance. I had two chances to to win the game, but I fucked it up. Like, look at this one. Brandon Marshall going down the middle. 19 seconds to go. 17-7. I lobbed it to Brandon Marshall. One-handed catch right behind the defenders. It was a nice catch, but damn. It's going to be 14-17. Touchdown right there. Mercedes Lewis. Out of play action. My favorite play action play that I, that I like to call in the goal line. Um, I'll name it later, guys. I'll show you guys which play is it. So you guys can do it too because it's very important to learn this play and you should be able to, to score like 80% of the time. Anyways, ended up doing the onside kick, didn't recover it, and he just kneels the ball. 17-15 is the final score. I ended up losing by two points. I had a chance, guys. I really did, but I messed it up. 
I really did. I, f I feel like I need to upgrade those linebackers, man. Terrell Suggs needs to go at some point. Terrell Suggs and uh, Levante David. I didn't see any production from these two guys. And also, maybe from my, from Antonio Camardi. He did in his own cover really good on one of the side. Out of the snugs. So that's it, guys. I ended up losing the first season. I mean, the first game of season five. And um, it was pathetic. I mean, I could have done better. It was a good game, though. It wasn't as bad as the other bullshits that have been happening in my other t my other few losses that I got in my previous seasons. At least, at least it wasn't bad as that. So that's it, guys. Leave a comment. Tell me what's up. And I'll see you guys later. And subscribe for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team.